Hey guys, so for all my nursing pumping mama friends, or even if you don't and you've been with a friend you have, <laughs> if you ever noticed, breast milk sometimes can have like a tint, a blue to it. I've noticed that before, but I never really thought about it. Then one day I came home and I had been at the theater and I was quite full and the baby had fallen asleep and taken a bottle of my frozen breast milk. So I needed to pump. I pumped, I'm doing my thing, I put the bottle down and my breast milk is blue. Not a tint of blue, it is blue. It's like blue breast milk, it's like Smurf milk right there. Like maybe not that blue, but it was pretty blue and I was like, whoa, what? Why is my breast milk blue? <laughs> You know I googled the bleep out of that. So, <laughs> basically, it was kind of what if I had not been in a moment of panic about why I had a brightly hued breast milk container in front of me, um, is that it was very normal. It's so normal to have breast milk that's really blue and not just tinted blue. Basically, what had happened was when you have your breast milk, you have foremilk and you have hind milk, right? And a lot of you guys probably heard of that. I know I had before. Well, your foremilk is more watery and it is like how the baby quenches their thirst. And then your hind milk is like where all the fat is, right? So they, they kind of drink the foremilk and then the hind milk's coming in and it's full of all the fat and it's fattening up your sweet little baby. What can happen is that that foremilk will always be a little thinner. But say that you had, you know, you, you nursed your baby and then you're going a long time in between nursing like I had done. Well, I had, you know, you have some leftover milk in your, your breast from when your baby stopped nursing. You don't feel it or anything, but it's there. And so your, your breast is continually making more breast milk, right? Awesome. So actually the fat in the breast milk will stick to the cell walls. <laughs> it'll stick there and all the thinner milk without less the fat that's been sticking will just kind of flood down into your breast filling your breast kind of towards the bottom it'll mix with that leftover breast milk that was still in your boob <laughs> from earlier and the longer it sits the more diluted the leftover stuff gets and so then you end up with this big puddle basically of four milk it's thinner milk not a lot of fat in there just sitting kind of at the end and when you go to feed your baby, if not if you pump it like I do, that milk comes out and you got a lot of blue milk going on in there before you even got into the hind milk. And, you know, but, but it, going back to the baby, so then you feed your baby, the baby's going to drink all of that four milk, and then the hind milk, all of the actual normal milk with fat and all, it starts, you know, getting more of it coming out, it starts pushing all of it down. So that milk starts moving on down, it's picking up the fat that was stuck to the wall from the for milk earlier. It's picking all that up so it's making it even more fatty and rich and creamier and it comes down to and there you go you're feeding your baby. So there is such a thing as for milk and there is such a thing as hind milk but they're actually the same kind of milk it's just that the for milk is the milk where the it's kind of sitting been sitting there it's sitting down in your boob it's waiting it's the first milk and some of the fat from that milk has just kind of gotten left behind in storage so to speak and it comes down when the you know rest of the milk that's up there that does still have the fat in it when it gets there it takes all of that down so there you go so you kind of only have one kind of milk but that's how they phrase it is a four milk and a high milk so that is what happened to me I had really blue milk because I had a lot of four milk way more four milk than I normally do when I'm pumping because usually when I'm pumping I haven't waited that long I fed the baby and I'm it's been an hour and I'm pumping you know or something like that so <laughs> Yeah, but that's what happened to me. Kind of took me back a little, so I was going to share that story and explain it, like what, <laughs> why, why I had some blue milk and why you might have like blue milk too. So in addition to that, the other thing I was going to say is that I was reading about how your milk can be all kinds of colors and it's still normal. Like it can be green. There are foods that can turn your milk green tinted or even red and it's not because there's blood in there. Or all kinds of things. So if you're ever worried, call the doctor of course, but it can be normal for your milk to be a variety of colors and it doesn't make it bad. <laughs> so that's interesting. I have to honestly say I've always just had normal breast milk or maybe slightly blue tinted except for the one time where it was very blue. Um, your colostrum is more yellow. I'm not really talking about that. That's the milk. You, that's the colostrum's the stuff that you get when you first um, are before your milk comes in. You have colostrum and it's really rich and full of great things for the baby. But that not talking about that. Talking about the actual milk. Yeah, it can just be lots of colors. So <laughs> that's kind of 
fun or weird, depending on how you want to look at it. So let me know below, have you ever had milk that came out a weird color? <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? Alright, bye guys.